Dual Logic Electronic Water Timer. What is required? Two 1.5 volt or LR6 AA alkaline batteries. Cleaning the filter. The timer is protected by a wire mesh filter that ensures long-lasting and trouble-free operation. The filter should be inspected periodically and washed at the beginning of every season. Simply remove the filter from the connector and rinse clean under running water. Fitting and replacing the batteries. To fit or replace the batteries, press the locking tab fully in to release the front part of the timer, which can then be detached. Fit two new batteries in the holder, observing the correct polarity. As long as the batteries are replaced within two minutes, the current settings will remain stored. Refit the front part of the timer to the back and press, ensuring that the locking tab clicks into place. Important. Always replace the batteries at the beginning of each season. Installation Fit the timer to a cold water tap following these simple instructions. The spout of the tap should have a 3 quarter inch male thread. If not, use an adapter. Screw the clamp collar of the 3 quarter inch female fitting onto the tap. Caution! Tighten the collar using hand pressure only. Do not use wrenches or other tools. Connect the watering lines to the respective quick click or threaded fittings using the appropriate connectors. Remember to turn on the water tap. Selection of watering program. Press any button once to light up the display. Press button P once or repeatedly to select the desired watering program, for example, three times. The selected program appears in display field C, three. The watering time is displayed in field D, one minute. And the watering frequency, or the interval of time between successive watering cycles, is displayed in field E, 12 hours. The time and frequency of watering are factory set and cannot be changed by the user. Immediate start. Within 10 seconds of selecting the program, press the A start button once only to program line A. Releasing the button, the message 0H blinks three times in the display and the automatic watering cycle will start immediately. The watering can symbol appears in display field C, indicating that watering is in progress together with the time remaining until the end of the cycle and the symbol A or B showing which line is active. At the end of the watering cycle, display field C shows the symbol A or B to indicate which watering line will be activated next, the time remaining until the start of the next watering cycle, displayed above the hourglass symbol. Set the start time for line B for example, program two or five minutes, in the same way as for line A previously. Watering will begin on line B, following the end of the cycle on line A. Delayed start. Within 10 seconds of selecting the program, press the A start button repeatedly to program line A or the B start to program line B, until display field C shows the delay between 1 and 23 hours before the start of the automatic watering cycle on the line selected, for example, 6 hours. Release the button and the number of hours will blink 3 times, after which the program begins the countdown to the automatic start of the watering cycle, shown in display field C above the hourglass symbol. Making changes to the watering program. Repeat the programming procedure as indicated in the Selection of Watering Program section, for example changing from 3 to 6. The new program will replace the previous one. Manual Watering
press the A start and B start buttons simultaneously and hold them for at least three seconds. The timer goes into manual mode with the valves off, off blinking. Pressing the A start button, line A will be activated for a duration of five minutes, which cannot be changed by the user and confirmed by the watering can symbol. To stop watering before five minutes have elapsed, press the A start button a second time. The same procedure can be carried out on line B. To quit the manual function, make certain that both valves are off. Then press the A start and B start buttons and hold them for at least three seconds. Reset. The factory settings of the timer can be restored at any given moment by pressing the A start and B start buttons simultaneously and holding them for at least 10 seconds. Switching off the timer. If the timer needs to be switched off, for example to store it away during winter, press the P button once, or repeatedly, until the OFF symbol appears. Then press the A start button. Repeat the procedure for line B. Rain sensor. The timer can be connected to a rain sensor by wire or by radio. When the level of water in the rain sensor rises above 5 mm, the watering program will be suspended automatically, then resumed once the rainwater in the cup has evaporated. Installation Remove the protective jumper from the rain sensor contacts. No tools are needed. If the rain sensor is not going to be used, the jumper must remain in place across the contacts. Wired rain sensor. Fit the connector of the sensor lead. Check that the two core cable enters the timer by way of the slot provided in the rear of the housing. RF rain sensor. Install the RF rain sensor interface, routing the wire antenna through the relative clips. Protection in winter. At the end of the watering season and before winter, disconnect the timer from the tap, remove the batteries, and store the device indoors, protected from frost and damp. This will ensure that the timer remains as good as new for many springs and summers to come. Clabber, the masters of water. www.clabber.com